I regret this later, but this is B and we're back, and we are going to be playing Red Dead 2, and we're going to be doing online, and I just deleted my character, <laughs> so we're going to go, we're going to go for it, and you guys are going to see it from the very beginning, and uh... I figured, why not have B take the South? You know, we're Southern. We'll 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 dot we'll design ourselves and jump right in. And like maybe you guys can join me. We play on the PlayStation Four. Um, don't know if you guys would want to form a posse or not, but I'm probably gonna have Rio join, which Rio's higher rank now because. I'm restarting, so. Rio will probably be, I don't know if we'll always like record it. We might do like streaming sessions. What do you guys think? Or maybe we'll do recording and streaming. And I'll just be like, hey, in this recording session, I will be talking to chat. But right now this isn't live. We're just chilling. We're just starting from the beginning. You probably heard me slurping. Taking a drink of lemonade. But. I figured we start in the beginning. And get our. Cowgirl panties on and stuff. Cowgirl up. You know. Okay uh. sheriff. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. Yeah? But I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, we're not a man. Well, let's get you in there then. Oh, we looking rough, my I'm dude. I need your details. Okay. Well, well, we're gonna go by B. Appearance. Um, you aren't going anywhere, and neither am I. Uh, I'm trying to find a face that kind of looks like mine. Take the time and get this right. Yeah, we are. We are, my dude. No worries. Honestly, that's... From what I hear, you ain't leaving us anytime soon. Ah. Uh. We're gonna need a fair record. Ah. Uh. I'm trying to find a good face for me. They're all kind of looking pretty rough. Tell me everything except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. I guess I'm kind of like that. Quite a record we'll have on you. Uh... I guess. Uh, we are 27. You're lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened, you were likely to be shot. Your eyes are so weird. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. Why she gotta look so rough? Okay. Um, eyebrows. How you doing with that? I know, it's, it's like, we're gonna go full, because I have full. Why are you, why is your eyebrows like that? What is going on with your face? Okay then. Why has she got such a
Yep. Okay. I hate. I hate. I want just a normal looking face, and none of these are. Mm. That's one. We're going to go with the most basic one. Uh, we got a pretty wide nose, I would say. Full lips. God, she's so weird looking. We got a round face. I will say that. But her cheeks. Let's see. Wide. The chompers. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, we're gonna go with chompers. What about the eyes? Here, saw. So. Okay, so we have brown hair. It's more this color brown. I'm gonna do as close as we can to us. As we can get. I might go with that. Eye style. Minor. Pretty chapped. give her some freckles even though I don't have freckles I have some so tired makeup dear god can we make you look somewhat decent Flush. Somehow I doubt it. Get that eye makeup. Two winged. Eyeliner, long, lipstick matte. I do like that ombre. Why can't I uh, fix your eyeballs? Whistle. Uh. Okay. Um, I really hate her head. Why is your eyebrows those colors?
No matter what, dude. That's a little bit better, I think. It's not as bad, I would say. Them eyebrows. Why are they blonde? Here. There we go. That's not as bad. Okay, she looks a little bit better. How much time have I spent on customization? A good 10 minutes, like a dum dum. Okay. Well, then you need your portrait took. Bring your hands up onto your chest. Yeah, I. That's a weird photo. Uh, sorry for taking so long. Welcome. Want to know the basic of Red Dead Online? Play the intro to learn. The controls and gameplay features that will help you survive and begin your journey with the Land of Opportunity story mission. Yeah, we're going to do the intro. Because I wanted to take you guys on this trip. And after sitting here for 10 minutes of me looking through and complaining about a face, I think you deserve it. You know, sometimes you just gotta suffer through it. Some months later. Sosika Penitentiary. Terry. Female wing. You know what? Jackson, it didn't let me choose my chest, Jackson, I think. Move those prisoners. Officer Benton. Kitchen's a staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? Go on. Get moving. You. You. You with the hammer. And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Blackwater. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. Yeah! Red Dead Online. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. He's a dumb dumb. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay, okay. You all run away, aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> this is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. It's like, what did I do? Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, we have no problem with that. 
Come along. Then you better get on this horse. Come in. He packed a horse ready. That's not, not much coming. of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Yeah, I waited on them moving you some weeks. I can wait a while longer. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm going to need you to come with me. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. Yeah? My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Hello, Mr. Hi, Horley. Sissica Penitentiary. Awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body no. or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Yeah, no, I'm you still ready. Up, and those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. Yeah. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. Which is you funny because while, I didn't so ask. We'll help you get set up in the world. And if you want to accept our offer, you can. That's more than reasonable. And freedom out on the range can wait a few moments longer, can it? You're just up here. There's the camp. Hit your horse. Yeah, okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Basically, I'm in debt I'll to wait. you. I get it. This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica, the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. Yeah. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. I am tinier than anyway, you. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. Okay. <laughs> we look like a cute little... I want this one. I like the cow. The cowgirl hat. Best. I like this one. Shirts. I kind of like the green one. The one they put me in. Okay. And suspenders. So I get choice and suspenders. I'm gonna go. Wait, does that get rid of my vest? Okay, no, it got rid. Of, it got rid of my vest. So 
Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Full pants. Okay. Gloves. Okay. Ah, uh, boots. Let's check those boots out. Uh. Wait. Okay. Those are good. Exiting the wardrobe will finalize your stunning clothes. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices... You're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death. All because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, and crook. crook. And my former best friend, Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on mm -hmm. your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me. Just as much as I need you. Suck I think my we face. all understand each other. I hope we do. Yeah. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul mm -hmm. greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Okay. Goodbye. For now. Then, Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! Get up! Oh, hello, partner. <laughs> Harley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Well. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna have to get our camp set up. Camp. So location, small camp, Great Plains. Oh, and uh, Madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Okay, so let's go. What if I want his horse, though? 
sooner you do it, the sooner we'll leave you to your own devices. Like, <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, so we better get going. We're gonna think of a name for this horse, our scrawny little nag horse. Um. Half of my brain's like, oh, we could go with, like, I don't know. Like, she's kind of a red color, so we could go, like, with amber, or, because, like, my brain's like chestnut, oakley, which that's more towards a boy's name. I'll let you guys name her down below in the comments. We don't even have to name her because of her brown hair. It could be a game, like, I'll let you guys, like, choose my horse's names as we go. On some of them, at least, maybe. I'll take your suggestions, I should say. On down, you're fine, you're fine. Oh god, why am I crouched? Okay, let's go over here. Hello. Excuse me, I wish to speak. Hello. Hello. You, uh, you must be a Horley's friend. He's yep. one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. Alden, that's me. Mm -hmm. but Horley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sort of. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. <laughs> I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up in tall trees. Okay. See what you can do, okay? Yes, sir. Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. Even if you're a lady. Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on, Pony. We got a job to do. We gotta go to Tall Trees. We got a job ahead of us. Let's go. Let's go ahead and roll out. I drive a, har a horse better than I do the bike in Cyberpunk. Somewhat, at least. I mean, I can't fuss too. Ooh, look at those horses. I wish I had them. We got our little scrawny one.
For some reason, I really want to name her like Little Tootie. Or like some type of food. Not apple. Brownie, nah. Huh. My little, you could be named Biscuit. That's a simple name though. And often a horse's name. Like, cause there's like Sea Biscuit. Oh, that's timer. So unfortunately we're not gonna make it to the tall trees. And I guess that'll help us decide what this horse's name is gonna be in the comments below. So until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.